Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the complements and unions of events. There are three objectives in today's slides. We'll learn how to use the relationship between the probability of an event and its complements to simplify problems. We'll learn to calculate the probability of the unions of two events, and we'll learn how to use complements and union formulas to compute the probability of an event. Let's talk about the probability of the complements of an event. Let E be the event, then the probability of E, denoted as E followed by a small mark, is P of E followed by a mark equals to 1 minus P of E. In essence, this means that the sum of an event and its complements is a sample space of that experiment. Now recall from our previous chapter, we have that the basic properties of probability, the sample space, the probability of the sample space is one. And that's why we have the number one in our formula here, because the sum of an event and its complements is the sample space. Therefore, the probability of that event and its complements will be equal to 1. Let's illustrate this point with an example. What is the probability of rolling two dice that neither of them is a 5? Now we'll, we'll do it in, the, in our own procedural. Let E be the event that rolling a dice will produce a 5 then the complement of E is the event that a 5 won't show up when rolling a dice. And because there are six possible outcomes when rolling a dice, the probability of event E, which is rolling a dice will produce a 5, is P of E equals to 1 over 6. Using the complement formula we just learned in the previous slide, we have that the probability of the complement of E is equal to 1 minus P of E, which is 1 minus 1 over 6, and that is equal to 5 over 6. And since rolling two dice is two independent events, the probability that neither roll will produce a 5 is 5 over 6 multiplied by 5 over 6, which is equivalent to 25 over 36. Now let's move on to the probability of the union of two events. Assume that E and F are two events, then we have the probability of the union of E and F is equal to P of E plus P of F minus P of E into section F. If, however, E and F have no common outcomes, they are said to be mutually exclusive and they are denoted as E intersection F is equal to the empty space. The formula then becomes P of E union F is equal to P of E plus P of F. How do we know that? We know that in in our previous chapter, the probability of the empty space is zero. And since E intersection F is the empty space, the probability of E intersection F will be equal to zero. And therefore, we have the probability of E union F equals to P of E plus P of F. Now let's combine our complements and union formulas to solve a problem. Assume that P of A is 0 0.45. P of A intersection B is 0 0.15. And the probability that neither A nor B occurs is 0 0.45. What is the probability of B? Let's visualize our problem so we can understand better what the problem gives us. 
now this, the red circle will represent the event that A happens. The event that B happens will be represented by the yellow circle. And the intersection of A and B will be represented by the green area. The, the event that neither A nor B occurs is everything outside of the red circle, the yellow circle, and the green circle. And so that is our problem. Now the question asks, what is the probability of B? Now before we can calculate the probability of B, we need to understand one thing first. The probability of neither A nor B occurs is the probability of the complements of the event that A or B occurs and will denote it as P of the complements of A union B and according to our problem this probability is equal to 0 0.45 so using the union formula and the information we have just derived from our own problem we can rewrite P of A union B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B as P of B equals to P of A union B minus P of A plus P of A intersection B. So the question asks what the what is the probability of P of B? Now we have just derived our own formula to calculate P of B. The problem gives us the probability of P of A and the probability of P of A intersection B, but it doesn't give us the probability of A union B. So we're going to have to find that. Now recall the complement's probability formula. We know that the probability of a complement of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of that event. And therefore, the probability of A union B will be equal to 1 minus the probability of A union B. Oh, I'm sorry. The probability of A union B will be equal to 1 minus the probability of the complements of A union B. And that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.45 and that is equivalent to 0 0.55 so we have the formula to calculate P of B we know the probability of A we know the probability of A intersection B and we have just derived the probability of A union B so all we need to do now is to substitute these number into the formula then we will have P of B is equal to 0 0.55 minus 0 0.45 plus 0 0.15 which is equal to 0 0.25 and so that's it for today's slides thank you very much for listening to me